Wow. <laughs> He's lost for words. That doesn't happen often. Usually you can't get him to shut up. You're gonna be like your wife, and you're gonna trip one day, and then this shit's gonna come crashing down, and I'm gonna be cranky, and have glass stuck in my leg, and this bottle end up somehow in your asshole. It always comes back to assholes. It doesn't have to. It should. Hello. Hi, everybody. How are you? Welcome to the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters, right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where it's always five o'clock. That's correct. Right there. You can tell. Yeah. By the Look, time on the clock. It's right there, too. Yep. Right there. It's yep. true. We're Wait. drinking Irish whiskey today. Why? Oh, um, because... Oh, actually, I'll tell you why. Okay. A marketing company said, do you want to try it? Oh, hey, thanks. And I said, yes. Marketing company. Right thanks, there. mysterious marketing company. Yeah. Did, were they aware that I'm not a huge Irish fan, but I have now found my favorite Irish whiskey ever? And no. A very um, high bar to set. Do they know about me? Yeah, and they sent us uh, this. So I was cool. like... Yeah, I will taste your whiskey if uh, you send it to me. Um, it wasn't the busker. Well, it is now. Let's yeah, talk about it. It was a market. The company. busker. Yeah. Irish whiskey. Single pot still. 88.6 proof. That's 44.3% alcohol by volume. Oh, damn. Damn. It's a product of Ireland, in case you didn't clue into that already. Um, hmm. It is proudly handcrafted in Royal Oak Distillery, oh my Ireland. Okay. And it's one of our three traditional Irish whiskeys. Yes. Okay, so meet the busker. Its roots run deep at Royal Oak Distillery, mm -hmm. the home of Irish whiskey culture, where all types of traditional whiskeys, grain, malt, and pot, nice, are made under one roof. The Busker Pot Still is a distinctive expression to Ireland created to bring you on a journey of exceptional character. Cool. Taste buds kick off with some beautiful intense spices balanced with some toffee as we reach that long warm finish. Okay. Interesting. Um, you were saying this is not what it was? What? Something? Yeah. Well, I was talking to Sean, of course. Oh, what? The Dark Cloud. <laughs> if you're going to talk Irish whiskey, you got to talk to the guy that knows. Yeah, so I asked, What's, what do you know about this? And he's like, everything. Well, let me tell you a few of those things. Please and do. And he was talking about uh, how uh, Writer's Tears and the family who owned it branched off. The distillery was originally going to make all of their things and eventually became known as it is today instead when there was a big branch in the company for whatever reason. Okay. Uh, or the merger or Probably whatever was going to happen. Yeah, so I have no idea at all what happened. <laughs> yeah. In um, no, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> These are not trending words on YouTube. That's what I do. <laughs> but yeah, uh, after the split, instead of uh, Writer's Tears having everything made at that location, again, the malts, the grains, right? Whatever. All under one the roof, series, as they yeah. said, yeah. Now, apparently, that's where this is coming from. Okay. Yeah, so again, that's just uh, a bastardization of a conversation that I had with Sean before. So, yeah, yeah, we'll have some info in the description and you can link to Sean and for sure ask Sean and he'll be able to spit it out. That's easier the guy. Than that's us. the guy. And that's what we are here at the Whiskey Heathens. We're trying to bring like minded heathen fucks together. Yes, our congregation is growing strongly. Today, we're the guy behind the guy, the Sean's yeah. the guy. Sean's the guy. So, I've been nosing it. Yeah, it smells really nice. It does. Yeah. I like it a lot. He, he turned me on to my favorite pot still, and it was a, a different company, but yeah, another day we'll talk I actually about just that. grabbed two of those from uh, Molten Greens. It's back. We're talking about the same thing? It's Temple Bar. Oh, that's not what I was talking about. That's not your favorite Irish whiskey? No, it is. I'm talking about my favorite pot still. It's oh. Bacon. Oh, single pot still. It had 2.5% so. oats. This is uh, really nice on the nose. Yeah. It's very sweet. And like a little bit of uh, like tea notes in there, like a delicate kind of tea. Spice. Oh, maybe like, like earthy black tea? Yeah, like a no, tea, no, man, for that. sure. All right. There's a spice in there too that I rather really enjoy. Uh, a nice sweet spice. 
All right, well, that's yeah. Enough. That's enough of that. Shall we? I'm getting it in me. Mmm, that's yummy. It's actually really nice. Yeah, I like that a lot, man. Damn. Nice. Okay, that's way better than I expected, and it reminds <laughs> me of the Temple Bar a little bit, but like not Malbec-y, pleasant. It's got a touch of apple, and I see what they're saying about that long, warm finish. At the end, it rolls mm. back on a bit yeah, of sweetness. Man. Yeah, that's wow. really fucking really nice. <laughs> I was not expecting this, uh, to tell you the truth, because I have I, I'm not familiar at all. You know, hideous bottle, but uh, I'm sure. <laughs> We I, like I was talk, confused by the, we like to talk by the label, packaging because it looks like it's ripped paper, but then you touch it and it's, it's plastic. Yeah, we like to talk about the packaging. I'm not a, so much a fan of square bottles. I prefer round, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the taste. And the taste uh, is really nice. This is way better for drinking and driving because it doesn't roll under your floorboards or get underneath your gas pedal. No, not that we would encourage that. I'm pretty sure no, it says no, drink no. responsibly. That is not true. Yeah, it does. It says uh, enjoy the busker responsibly. That would not be responsible. But I'm saying that's the benefit to a square bottle. There is no benefit to drinking and driving. There's benefits to square bottles, though. Part of it, oh dear. <laughs> I, I, I am pleasantly surprised. It's got a nice creamy finish to it. And it's got apple. Yeah. Apple. I'm just thinking of what we have to say to our sensors and nothing. Someone, they don't pay us. Someone's gonna call someone. <laughs> call, call all you want. <laughs> Ty answers the phone. That is the last. That is the last thing that you want. It's pretty good though, honestly. I yeah, I thoroughly enjoy it. Wow. Um, do you recall what the price point is on this? I don't even know if it's available. Oh, great. Yeah. We really enjoyed this whiskey that you might not be able to in get. In BC, you can get it. Okay, so yeah. it might not be available in Alberta. Maybe not. Yet. But I want to find out the price real quick here. Please do, because yeah. I would buy this. Yeah, I would too. buy this. Me too. I would buy this out of my own money. Hopefully, it's under $80. Unknown at this time. 750 mil. We'll see what happens here. Okay. I just texted a couple sources. Hmm. Man, it smells lovely. Fucking lovely. The right? taste, it tastes better than it smells, and it smells really nice. You smell nice. <laughs> I expect you'll be popular. I kind of, with that whole tea note you were talking about, yeah. I kind of expected that on the tongue. Yeah, not at all. It. No, no, not even remotely, man. Sweet, mm. slightly spiced apple. Bam, that's a winner. That's it. Yeah. That's a damn fine whiskey right there. That is. I am a little bit taken aback. I'm a little cranky because, um, uh oh. Why do we keep finding Irish whiskeys I like all of a sudden? <laughs> uh, this was just the universe, too. I started randomly answering uh, random messages on Instagram and giving them my home address. And <laughs> there's That's a bunch of whiskey even showing dangerous. up. Dangerous. What's the worst case scenario? They're going to show up? Dead hookers. Man. They show up here, it's gonna be very bad for them. You don't want no part of this shit. Unless they got whiskey with them. <laughs> and if they're bringing something like this, man, I'm in. Cause this well, is fucking good. I can't even believe. We started with this today. Yeah, this is the first. Yeah. yeah. We got a few to go. In case we hated it and we weren't expecting it to be this flavorful. No, I'm very happy with it. Yeah, me too. We'll, uh, we won't wait for responses, but Josh will throw it up. Yeah, I'll throw it up there yeah. for sure. Yeah. That came in, this little breaking news, da, 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 yeah. breaking news. Enough with the suspense, guys, what is it? Wow, wow, wow. All right then, keep your secrets. <laughs> $41.45. Long enough, dork. Wow. That. This doesn't make any sense to me. That's the best cheap Irish whiskey I've ever had. There it is. Uh, I. Wow. <laughs> He's lost for words. That doesn't happen often. Usually you can't get him to shut up. I was expecting 80 bucks. That's what I was figuring too. Yep. When 80, you said 80, 80 bucks, 90. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> you could buy two for 80 bucks. Wow. Oh my God. I can, I, I'm happy <laughs> that we didn't do much research on this and didn't look it up, man. I'm, I am I never like to do research. This is uh, way more fun discovering about this. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I can't believe it. Sean literally 
sent it to me. He's like, here you go, man. Look. Wow. Wow. Well done. Wow, Seriously? Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Damn fine job. And for that price, and it's 44.3%. That's nuts. This is fucking stupid, man. That's cheaper. We're drinking Crown dollar Royal a after this, by the way. A dollar a percent cheaper. That's nuts. That's nuts. Mm. Now I don't have to spare this along at all. <laughs> because they sent me this with um, uh, some sugar cubes and some bitters. So oh. that you could, and there was a recipe that you could actually Buster, have. old fashioned. Yeah, the sorry, fashion. elder fashion. Oh, apparently, old. All of a sudden, Ty is politically correct. No, I don't give a shit. Fuck them old. Yeah. Um, so we'll do that on another episode because we just wanted to do uh, the whiskey first, and it's fantastic. You don't need to mix it. You don't need to <laughs> add water at all. But I'd be very interested to see how it held up in an old fashioned now because damn. I can't stop looking at it because I'm just like, how? Yeah, me too. How? I'm shocked, man, and appalled, really. You're offsetting the balance of the universe. Yeah. What, it, like, is this part of Thanos' snap? Like, this is. It's like Johnny Depp when he goes in and shoots the cook, man. It's the best <laughs> slow cooked pork I've ever had, and you're offsetting the balance of the universe. A slow roasted pork, nothing fancy, just happens to be my favorite, and I order it with the tequila and lime in every dive I go to in this country. And honestly, that is the best it's ever been anywhere. In fact, it's too good. It is so good that when I'm finished with it, I'll pay my check, walk straight into the kitchen, and shoot the cook. You know what I'm saying? This is ridiculously good. I can't even, wow. I'm not, I can't even, I don't even know what to say. Well, I think we just get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck off, everybody. <laughs> Cheers. The Busker. Busker. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well uh, the marketing company that sent me this randomly. <laughs> Cheers. Good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Smart move yeah. on your part. Wow. Wow. Uh, Sean, thanks for your uh, help and assistance real swift here. Because trust me. And y'all. If it was shit, I'd have told you. Oh yeah. Totally. <laughs> You can check some of our other episodes. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming too, by the way. There's mm. a couple more down. Sponsored episodes too. It's bad. <laughs> last, this is last sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, man, if your product is shit, it's shit. If it's good, it's good. We got to tell the people what's right and what's wrong, right? And this, this is this is right. I'm so happy with this. I'm just so happy with this. Me too. That's yeah. nuts. Okay. It's bad. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers, y'all. See you later. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that too. So soft and smooth, but spicy. Hi, I'm Brian Anthony. I play Ty Brandt on the Whiskey Heathen Show, right here on YouTube. Now, he's a character, and he says some pretty dumb shit sometimes. Like when he says, that's a great bottle for drinking and driving. What a dumb cunt. Don't be like Ty. Drink responsibly. Have a good one. And hit like and subscribe. Thank you.